Hey, little bugs, this is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you resonate strongly with the content that you pick to see within the videos you know please drop a line if you're comfortable enough let me know where you're from and the insider views that you have towards the content of the video that is being placed um anybody going through to get to you know going through intense changes you're probably dealing with a lot of uh past hurts and trauma that you're, you're trying to make peace with Ooh, spiritual um ingesting <laughs> um so i'm sending so much love light towards your way of whatever whatever you've been praying for frequently on that you don't speak public about may god bless you bless you privately as well as publicly anybody who's coming in with nefarious ass vibe such con ass energy anything you're coming in that's not sent by god it, it's being sent back to you um and that will become your reality. So whatever evil eye goes blind, any minor spirit goes deaf, and ill will placed on me as well as other people go mute. The video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, the 1010 portal sent context clues on what to do and how to do it. Like there could be different things that has been taking place into your life where, you know, you're going to try every option on trying to do the best thing possible, but it, it just keeps it's like it starts back at one <laughs> you know it's just like what what am i doing how am i doing it and it'll be sometimes when we are impatient and we're tired of certain things the way it is and we want you know you, you we we're getting prepared for blessings this is supposed to last and universe does not want to hand you a microwave blessing a lot of times we feel like you know hey you know we cut this we, we want to be able to let go of that but it'll be just like you know when you're trying to clear from what and who is no longer serving you and you can ask for that help you're, you're starting to see the different things by forgiving yourself by holding on to different things that you know that was only supposed to send a lesson or you're, you're having the power to part ways with people that is stunning your growth or trying to hold you back these experiences in your life was it, it was supposed to be like an upgrade on you know learning different subliminals and everything that takes place in your life everything is placed in your life for growth you know a lot of times we can say this was very traumatic that happened in our lives or this was very diabolical that took place in my life or this was very you know just trife you know and these are different things like you can grow from these things you can conquer these things you can overcome these things um but now they're they're showing you a different way of going about that which you need to be keeping these things to yourself <laughs> you know these are the things that you have to go through without trying to tell it's just like you know universe you know you want you know have certain things a certain way and god is telling you don't tell them show them you know you know what you're trying to bring in fruition into your life you know what you're trying to manifest you know what you're trying to heal from what you're trying to overcome what you're trying to disconnect from detach because there's a lot of things that's going on right now where there could be a lot of projections that's taking place into your life right now and they're telling you you're, you're not responsible for other people's issues you know don't take on somebody else's burden we, we we've been guilty of that well at least i can say i don't want to put no we in there like i'm speaking french i know i have you know and didn't realize that's what i was doing unsubconsciously and now it's just like you know people will say oh it's cold no i'm just not trying to take on anything that's not mine if i don't clear up my slate don't clear up my karmic will you know and and all these different things i'll be damned if i'm taking on somebody else's stuff this is something I had to do for myself. Now it's time for y'all to do it for yourself. I can send prayers towards that way. And you do the best that you can. But that's not your responsibility. Now it's like. Now you have responsibility over yourself. You're making choices that you aren't. It was so hard for you to do. Before now it's becoming like. No doubt. If you want this to be a part of your life. You know. You know what initial steps that you have to do to really get onto that vibe 
you know um so the different changes that are taking place in, in life is giving you some kind of insight on how to be able to look for things you know you're getting more signs than you usually do you know um i keep seeing people being handed spiritual inheritance your your hand you know these are different things that you have really earned through all the things that you're going through you know your ancestors are really rooting for you if you know you're the one who's showing up for yourself even when you don't know how you're going to show up for yourself but you're just like here you may be going through a lot of stuff you know be, sometimes i'll be wanting you know i have choice words for god but then at the same time it's like you know i really want to be grateful but i really all the stuff i'm going through right now i really can't say i'm grateful but I'm going to just give you that gratitude anyway because I know it will make sense some, somewhere down the road that I may not be able to see right now. So you make an initial change and you don't know exactly where it's leading you to. But it's like now you're in that vibration of you taking a lift, leaf of faith. These are the different things where you know there's a time and a place for you to play safe. And there's times and place you, you need to start taking risk. You know, to be different things, but they're telling you use your discernment. You know which different things is taking place in your life because there's a lot of obstacles that are clearing out of your life. There's a lot of people that are clearing out of your life. Anybody who is not on that vibe with you are slowly but surely getting out of your life. You'll start seeing them less and less and less. You know, different things where it may feel like you being pulled away, but you are. You really are. If this is not a part of where you're destined to be God's gonna put you on one one side of the street and God's gonna put whatever else is over on the other side of the street if this is no longer what's taking place but you're working on yourself and this is like move in silence heal in silence you know if you need to journal to your journal that's the only supposed to be between your journal and God is the only people you need to be talking to about the initial changes that's coming in because it's like you, you don't realize you're intimidating a lot of people there's a lot of people that had plans and it wasn't for you overcoming the different things that they placed in your life. Okay, you're overcoming almost every single thing that's placed in there. And maybe you can be scary. You don't even know what you've been protected from. It could have been so much going on behind the scenes that you didn't know that your ancestors, your spirit guides, as well as the collective and all that mess has been shielding you from. They're just telling you to stay focused on what's important into your life. Whatever is not supposed to be there, divine intervention is heavy at play right now. Even while something is telling you, even when you feel like you're constantly being attacked all the time, something's telling you back up. You ain't got to say a word, but just back up. You can take that for what it's worth. <laughs> back up. You know, you doing your thing. You are going to clear your slate. You just going through... The, the last things right now where you're tying up loose ends. Everything is connected the way it's supposed to be. And you, you are already in your beginning. Like I see people stepping foot and the charges of your life that, that is like transmuting in a crazy way. And it's just like you ended that old stuff of the way you're thinking, the way you move on stuff. That's what I'm saying. You're in a whole new vibration. You're, you're being cautious about you know the moves you're making so it's just like mess must be sounding crazy but it's just like oh you know new levels different levels you know you're going through different things you got to go through different strategies you got to go through different upheavals these are the things that you know you're learning for that vibration of you know you're you're seeing the shadow of your old self disintegrating you know and you remember those different things that you know you're going through a grief period and you know that's all i can say you're going through a grief period because it's like you're grieving from the life that you thought you knew or the life that you thought you were going to have or the expectations of of the thought of that and you're going through all these different changes of where you're looking at things different you're going about them different you're seeing it different you know um and you're going through those things and it's just like wow you know there'll be so many times i look back at stuff and it was just like i never thought i could be able to heal from that or i never thought i, I could look at this situation and see it as this you know and it'll be those different changes that are taking place it's like you know i i needed this change i needed the eye opener you know i see a lot of those different screenshots like especially from like facebook and stuff like that where where you're saying you know what is like when people show their true colors it was an eye-opener for you 
or when God started removing a lot of people out your life, if you know you start asking God, look, I need you to take anybody out of my life that doesn't want to see me prosper, wish ill will on me, and don't want to see me in peace and don't see me grow. Don't be surprised when everybody in their dad going mama start dropping out your life, life, life. You know, and you're going through that because now it's just like, you know, you're on that vibration of attracting like-minded people. You know, these are different things where, you know, anytime, it's not always the fact of what you, you, you got within yourself on when you're dealing with somebody who's toxic or, you know, low self-esteem or, you know, they just drama everywhere. You know, that person probably needed your knowledge. You know, you may have seen yourself like that was like five or six years ago when you just constantly was in the mix of stuff. And that person needs to be able to connect with you. And you're like, yeah, I went through these things. You know, I share different stuff from my past that, you know, I'm not so fond of. But it, it's just to go to show people, you don't worry about what the heck other people think. You know, there's a lot of people out here that did worse off than you. But they still can sit up here and place, you know, pick a finger. But knowing good and well, you look at the back of that closet, oh, it, it you know, you, you dealing with your skeletons and you, you know, you address the elephant in the room. You read in the room and you ain't, you ate it up and didn't leave any kind of crumbs. Now you're going about different things and you're truly appreciating, you know, even the obstacles was placed in your life. Because you wouldn't really know. It's like, man, is this, is, is this something that can really create something? If you don't have nobody trying to hate on you, trying to block you from anything that you're trying to do, they can have some spiritual purpose to your life. They can really go massive. Oh, you, 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 ain't, got, you ain't doing the right thing. You got to have people that are trying to do everything they can to shut you down. Or anything they can to, you know, keep you quiet so you don't be speaking the truth to different things. Or... You know, you to be able to influence other people to move like that. Where you can you can see the advantage in a disadvantaged situation. You can see something positive in a chaotic situation. You can bring something good out of that bad circumstances. It's all about what your will to do in your life and what you're dedicated to be able to do. So it's just like that portal came out where it's allowing you to see people for who they truly are, certain situations for what they truly are, allow yourself to make peace with your past, you know, these are the different things that help you grow, it, it, it brought you further, even when it was certain things that just really broke you down, you know, you really had to be able to go through that because there's a lot of things that you go through and you know it had to be the will of God that you done got through that. You know, you're like, how did you survive that? Or how did you do something and then catch a case for it? You know, you you just don't know. There's a lot of things that took place in your life that somebody's going to need your experience. Somebody's going to need your story. You don't know how you're, in, you're an inspiration to be inspiring towards different people. Because you can have a hellish life and you can create heaven within that hell that you got. You know, that you were served. Ice cold. <laughs> you know, and then you created something so so beautiful and powerful behind that. People going to want to know, like, Dad, what did you go through? How were you able to, you know, do step by step for getting as far as you are? And you just really don't know. You can be a creative spiritual blueprint for a lot of missed our opportunity type situations for other people are not understanding how can I be able to achieve these different things how were you what were the different techniques you had to be able to heal from something so traumatic how are you able to stay strong you know during moments of weakness I mean you're going through so many different changes in life you don't know where your experience can be spotlighted on somebody that truly need to hear your testimony today your mess is a message your test is a testimony. Your experience is somebody's template to overcome many things that's been sent their way to destroy them. So you allow yourself to keep growing, keep healing, you know, keep allowing yourself to manifest be more beautiful things into your life because it's coming. You know, especially if you know you've been working hard and you ain't really been seeing results, it's coming. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. And you will see me on my next one. I hope you um, like and subscribe. Drop a line. Um, share, support. It will be greatly appreciated if you feel generous enough to drop a donation towards the channel. Cash app is there. As well as um, my email if you want to hit me up one-on-one. -on -one. Um, please be safe and responsible. Everything you do, do good, be good.
<laughs> you know, uh, have a uh, safe, responsible week, please. You know, I pray for everyone um, that reaches this video. You know, we're all going through different things. It's hard for us to heal from. Even sometimes it's hard for us to let go. But I send the strength out there to anybody, even my enemies, that I pray for peace for you. You know, because everybody deserves that in their life. It's just how you go hard for it. You got to go hard for yourself. If not, go home. <laughs> so I'll see you'll see me on my next video. So much love. God bless. Namaste. I say adios. Sayonara. Peace.